Hi guys, this is Mami May and welcome to our vlog. If you are new to this channel or napadaan lang kayo, uh, please consider subscribing. Please um, hit the like button and subscribe button and click the notification bell para ma-notify kayo if we have new videos. Hi! It's June 19 and it's my um, schedule for my PT test. PT test. For my pregnancy test. And today it's positive! Yay! Yay! <laughs> July 2 and it's my first ultrasound since I'm in implant and then um, today we found out na my gestational sac na ako. and yes I'm pregnant I am 5 weeks and 5 days pregnant now and hopefully after 2 weeks um, um, if you check your heart and sana okay lahat see you then so what did we do after finding out na walang heartbeat so ayun nga Malaman namin walang heartbeat, we were advised to take um, beta-HCG again uh, to test kung buddhis pa rin ako and then the result came still positive so um, in extent ng dalawang, dalawang weeks pa, two more weeks uh, to give time na ma-develop kasi nga baka, baka late development lang. Seven weeks pregnant now. Um, uh, we are advised to to repeat the ultrasound again after two weeks, and hopefully, hopefully, uh, okay na, okay na si baby, and um, heartbeat na. And nakawin na rin ako ng bahay sa Carmen, and iniwan na ako ni Daddy. Hasa <laughs> seminar na naman siya. Hopefully by uh, next next week hopefully maging okay na lahat and finally we can see the heart beat ni baby see you then and then after two weeks we go to our ob gyne and then we found out na yun nga walang heart beat and uh, ang sabi ng ob ko bumalik kami ulit sa Davao sa fertility clinic uh, para si doc uh, great uh, si doc Kabling na lang yung magko-confirm dun sa um, yung sa pregnancy nga. So, bumalik kami sa sa Davao and then uh, yun, sinabi ni Doc na uh, it was a failed pregnancy. Uh, hindi siya nabuo. It was an embryonic pregnancy. So, yun, hindi natuloy yung pagmuuntis ko. And August 1 1 and nag repeat ultrasound na kami and sad to say hindi nag push through si babe an embryotic pregnancy ang nangyari bali 
Instead na mabuo siya, parang slowly dying. <laughs> slowly dying and shrinking na siya. So, as of today, ang size niya, instead of 9 weeks, naging 4 weeks na lang yung laki niya. So, we're advised to go back to Davao and see Doc Pabling again and um, ask what, what to do next after this. But sad to say, it's a failed, failed pregnancy. Lang. It's a failed pregnancy. Sorry. Sorry, Papa. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. Mm. Uh, we got to move on. Mm. Try again. Move on, move on. Na lang dun tan, eh. Try and try. Try and try. And I'm going to put my eggs in a frozen. So, hopefully, next time. Next time. If God allows. Yes, claim na nato na. So for now, let's bear with the bad news and let's try to move on. Aja. Um, this is based on my experience. So, uh, after nun kinonfirm nga ni Doc na it was a failed pregnancy, uh, tinanong ko siya kung ilang weeks ba na bago siya lumabas sa akin yung uh, supposed to be na baby ko uh, so sabi niya 2 to 3 weeks uh, pwedeng lumabas na yung baby so ayun nga uh, we're waiting for for it to come out and then ang advice niya is just wait for it na lumabas kasi lalabas at lalabas din naman daw yun uh, just observe lang kung hindi ka ba magbibleed after nung pagkalabas uh, so, ayun na nga. Um, what happened nung paglabas? So, uh, yung waiting time namin, siguro mga two weeks. Two weeks after lumabas siya. Uh, lumabas siya madaling araw. Around 3.30 a.m. Hi guys, it's uh, August 14 and... Kanina around, ako gabi, around 10.30 na gabi. Sobrang sakit nung chan ko. Yun pala, uh, early signs na yun na malapit ang lumabas yung baby ko. And, sobrang sakit. Yung ko talaga ang kaya na yan. Binumok ko ng ibuprofen. Uh, ang na-feel ko lang naman is sobrang sakit as in sobrang sakit na hindi mo ma-explain sa lahat ng sakit na na-feel ko yun na yata yung pinakamasakit na na-feel ko at uh, di ko kinaya nag-research -nag kami kasi hindi, hindi ko natanong kung anong pwedeng inumin uh, sa pain kasi hindi ko alam may pain din pala talaga yun so ayun nga uh, nung lumab around mga 9 9 p.m. 10 p.m. sumasakit na parang kumbaga parang naglilabor na pala yun. So, yun uh, ang sakit, sobrang sakit yung balakang ko, yung puson ko. Lahat na yata masakit, hindi ko ma-explain. And then sa sobrang sakit uh, sabi ko sa asawa ko mag-research ka nga kung anong pwedeng inumin. Disclaimer lang ha uh, this is not an advice of my doctor. Um uh, Ni-research lang namin kasi na sobrang sakit, hindi ako makatulog. So, nag-research kami kung ano yung pwede kong inumin. Nag-self-medicate lang ako. Huwag nyo kong gayahin, guys. Magtanong kayo sa doktor nyo uh, kung anong pwede nyong inumin if ever you feel pain uh, during those times. Uh, kaya yun, I take um, ibuprofen. Tapos, after taking it, uh, nakatulog ako. And then, Nagising na lang ako around 3.30 a.m. na parang naiihi ako or parang alam nyo girls, yung sa mga girls yung parang during menstruation yun na parang may lalabas na buo. Ganun na ganun yung na-feel ko. And then around 
3.30 ng umaga. Ayun nga, lumabas na yung antawag na yung parang laman. So, I had a miscarriage. Um, San uh, yung first baby, yung san yung first baby naman sa IBF. And, and it so happened na hindi siya naging okay. Um, August 14, 2018 at around 3.30 yun nga lumabas siya and and I'm waiting kung I'm observing pa kung uh, kamusta yung magiging friends ko sana maging okay at hindi ako mabibleed sana complete yung abortion para no need na ako mada-NC uh, yun lang guys Magamaga yung mata ko kasi nanood ako ng movie tapos iyak ko na iyak. <laughs> Dahil dun sa mga videos na pinakunood ko. Yun na guys. Update next time. Uh, so after that, uh, inobserbahan na lang namin na uh, kung magbe-bleed pa ako or hindi. Kasi sabi ni Doc, uh, we have to observe kasi kung magbe-bleed, kailangan kung bumalik sa OB, uh, to do the NC uh, yung pero pag hindi naman, okay lang so luckily at sa awal ng Diyos, hindi naman ako nagbleed so uh, hindi na ako naraspahan so paano kami nagmove on uh, after after the bad news siguro first um, we just have a strong faith uh, yun, yun na pa yung pinaka unang reason bakit madali kami nakapag, nakapag move on as you can see dun sa video um, nung sinabi ko sa husband ko na it was a failed pregnancy sorry sorry papa sorry uh, it's okay mm. uh, we got to move on mm. try again move on move on na lang dun. Natawa na nga lang kami during yung review namin doon sa video kasi ang reaction niya na, it's okay, parang, parang walang nangyari. But, uh, pero at least, uh, ang laking tulong nun, especially sa akin, kasi I feel not pressured na mabuntis. Yung, alam mo yung feeling na, uh, yung, yung assurance ng asawa mo na, oh, okay lang yan, we, we have to move on, uh, let's try again next time, yung ganun. So, ang uh, yung faith at siya, yung faith namin kay God na uh, in his time darating at darating yan uh, napakalaking, napakalaking tulong uh, para madali kami nakapag move on second is yung sabi ko nga yung support ng asawa ko uh, yung reaction niya na ah, okay lang yan let's try let's try again let's try next time so parang Instead na ma-depress ako dahil sa nangyari, uh, parang ang gaan lang nung dating, nung dating nung kahit may problema along the way, alam mo, andyan lang yung asawa mo uh, to support you. Third is yung um, encouragement ng doctor ko, ng OB ko. Uh, sabi niya na, um, okay lang yan, bata ka pa naman, and um, at least, uh, Mm, you went through it uh, nabuntis ka at nalaman diba, um, dapat kahit hindi siya naman kahit hindi naman natuloy uh, we should be thankful kasi at least nalaman natin na kaya nating mabuntis uh, hindi naman kasi lahat ng babae uh, capable of bearing a child pero the fact na nabuntis ka uh, kahit hindi siya natuloy possible kang mabuntis ulit and yun pa lang, uh, it's a gift na na pwede, ka, pwede kang maging uh, mom pa rin. Not this time, pero malay natin next time. Sabi ni Doc na don't feel bad. Uh, it's not the, the right time. Uh, if in, in his perfect time, darating at darating yun. Sabi niya na uh, just think of it this way. Sometimes it is a process of elimination. Uh, if it is not the the good one yet, probably the body will eliminate it. Lalabas at lalabas yun. So, o nga naman, diba? Uh, tsaka mas painful daw. Which is, 
I agree na mas painful nga kung natuloy nga yung pregnancy tapos along the way or halimbawa let's say 6 months or 7 months, mawawala rin yung baby or pag naipanganak mo naman, possible may defect yung bata or may sakit or something ganun. Diba, um, God has perfect plan for you. Kaya, yun na lang yung, doon na lang tayo mag sa positive side na uh, uh, yung reason bakit nawala is uh, maganda rin naman yung reason kahit masakit. Uh, sayang, sayang, oo nga sayang, pero uh, the point is at least you went you went through it, na experience mo paano mabuntis, yung feeling na nabuntis, yung, yung excitement, yung feeling na may nabubuo sa loob ng tummy mo, uh, yun, uh, it's a plus factor. Kasi nga, sabi ko kanina, hindi lahat ng babae is nabibigyan ng chance na mabuntis. So, yung message ko to all the couples na, na undergoing this, the same kind of procedure at yung mga um, mom, moms, aspiring moms na nawalan ng baby along the way, uh, don't be sad. Uh, just pray. Just uh, pray na, na ibibigay din sa inyo ni Lord yung hinihiling nyo. Uh, Sabi nga dun sa Mark 11.24 uh, uh, Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you will have received it and it will be yours. Pray lang, don't lose your hope. Uh, darating at darating yan. And to all the husbands out there, continue to uh, support your wife. Uh, uh, be there when uh, sa, lahat ng, sa lahat ng pagdadaanan nyo uh, let them feel that they are loved, they are cared for uh, that they are appreciated and continue to understand kasi uh, minsan moody talaga yung mga babae lalo na pag nagbubuntis mga maraming mood swings especially yung times na tulad nung pinagdaanan namin na we lost the baby uh, masyadong emotional kasi yung mga babae uh, although pareho, na, pareho naman kayong nawalan pero mas emotional kasi yung mga babae when it comes to that so uh, show your support your love uh, na andyan lang kayo whatever happens uh, they got your back uh, to all the couples uh, aspiring to be parents uh, pray lang don't lose your hope pray 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 uh, at uh, claim it na ibibigay ni Lord in His perfect time yung baby na pinagpipray natin baby dust to everyone God bless your journey uh, so yun guys um, if you have some um comments or you have some inquiries regarding IBF uh, basta kaya lang namin sagutin or um, kaya namin um, or na experience namin just comment below para sa next video namin eh, pwede namin magawa ng um, answers or ano man yan regarding IBF okay? Thank you for subscribing Bye!